What's going on, guys? The Jets commit to Zach Wilson as the starter, and they make a swap on the practice squad and work out some veteran offensive linemen. So Zach Wilson's going to be the guy for the Jets. I think we kind of, the video I talked about yesterday, I said if they do bring in a quarterback, um, Zach Wilson is still going to be presumed the starter until further notice. I thought that they maybe could make an upgrade, at least that depth, over Tim Boyle. Um, the names per Diana Rossini that were confirmed that they reached out to were Chad Henney, uh, Nick Foles, and Carson Wentz. And I guess there was no signing was made. And uh, per Rossini, again, the Jets believe their best path forward is to start uh, number two, former second overall pick, Zach Wilson. I've uh, given my two cents. I thought, you know, a guy like Brissett who could come in and probably raise the, the ceiling of the, the team a little bit or hedge your bets as a fallback option. But once the team makes their decision, you just have to be a fan. And now you got to hope for the best uh, for Zach Wilson. Obviously, they've seen they've been pretty steadfast the entire spring and summer that he's been their number two guy. So um, obviously, they see some things that are encouraging in practice and training camp and all that. Uh, I think if Zach Wilson can be somewhere around the 20th best quarterback in the NFL, that's still a significant improvement from last year. But I'm not Jets forever. I'm not going to tell you he's going to go be Rodgers or better than Rodgers. Or Rodgers' injury is a blessing because now Zach is going to no, look, just be right on the 20th best quarterback in the NFL. And this team can make the playoffs. And then from there, we'll see. To me, the, the playoffs is, should absolutely still be 100% the goal. This team is too talented. And they are just – the culture is too good for them to do anything remotely close to throwing in the towel. And they're in freaking first place. <laughs> they're 1-0. and So uh, let's go. Let's go. You, I can't let the excitement of four months of being the most excited I've been as a Jet fan, I can't let it die. We had 24 hours to throw, throw ourselves a pity party, and now we got to move on. Um, and they're moving on with Zach. So let's see how he does against the Cowboys. Um, Tim Boyle as the backup. I'd like to do better, to be honest, but um, we'll see. He doesn't really have a big resume in the NFL, but what he's done is not very good. Now, on the practice squad, undrafted free agent um, linebacker Caleb Johnson, he is out. And Malik Taylor is back in, veteran wide receiver. And then the Jets, uh, per the transaction wire, worked out four veteran offensive linemen. And they're working out guys all year round. It doesn't really mean anything. But typically when they work out this number of players, like four or five guys at one position, typically it means they're at least probably going to add one to the practice squad. So... My guess is Rodgers will go on IR, obviously, soon. And then Boyle will be elevated from the practice squad to the active 53 to take his spot. And then the Jets will probably uh, put an offensive lineman on the practice squad to replace Boyle. I think that's how the dominoes will probably go, at least judging from this. So it's Dennis Kelly, a veteran 10-year swing tackle. Um, been a swing tackle in the league for a decade. Uh, you know, not very good when he starts, but he's a, he's been a decent backup for a while. Cam Irving, former first-round pick of the Cleveland Browns, has 56 starts, some good, some horrible, some injuries. Uh, last started in 2021, but he can play interior and tackle. DJ Fluker, another former first-round pick, and he's this guy who, and he's got like 65 starts in his career, but he's the dude who had that crazy weight loss, and he's got the the wild workout videos where he looks like you know Mr. Olympia, um, but he hasn't started since 2021. And then Rashid Coward, 20 starts in his career at guard. So the, these are all guys who uh, I don't think would be better than any guys who are on our active roster. So that's why I think maybe um, practice squad moves there. So there it is. Have a good one. Go Jets.